when referring to 2D lines, circles and text in ArtCam, they are commonly known as vectors. To create a square or rectangle, select the rectangle creation tool from the design toolbar and left click anywhere on the model. Make sure to hold the mouse down and drag to the size that you would like. To do this more precisely, you can enter values for the width and the height of the rectangle within the dialog on the right of the screen. To create radii on the corners, select the red dots on one of the corners and move them inwards. This will create a radius the same size on all four corners. You can also enter a specific size for this in the dialog box and invert the radii if you wish. When you are finished, select Create. To close the dialog, either select Cancel or right click in the model space. This rectangle is not in the center of the model. I could have selected the position in the rectangle dialog, but a really quick way to do this is to select the vector and then select the vector drop down, choose a line and then center in the model. Note that the shortcut for this is F9, which is a really quick way to get something in the center of the model. To create circles, select the circle creation tool from the design toolbar and left click where you would like the center of the circle to be located. Whilst holding down the left mouse button, drag outwards to obtain the size of the circle. Again, you can enter a figure in the dialog to enter a specific size for this. To create the circle again, you can select create and then repeat the process. You can also select enter on the keyboard, which will allow you to create another circle at the same center. To do this, select the red dot on the right hand side of the circle and move it. This will create a copy. To create text in ArtCam, select the text tool from the design toolbar. This will then open up a dialog which will give you access to any true type or single line fonts that are installed on your computer. So if you want a specific font that you would like to use in ArtCam, just install this on your PC and it will show up in ArtCam. Select on the model and it will give you a cursor where the text is going to start. You can then start typing the text that you would like. To edit the text, drag from the end of the text to highlight it all, and then you can change it. This can then be centered by pressing F9 on the keyboard. Some of the text may be close together. To change the spacing, select the spacing dropdown and change as required. Here I have made the spacing larger, but now the text doesn't fit the base, so I have to make it smaller again. To finish and accept the text, select Create. In order to move any object, hover over it until you see a cursor which has four arrow heads. This means that you can move the part. To move, simply left click and drag. In order to maintain a 90 degree angle, select Alt on the keyboard at the same time and then I can drag upwards and it will keep the text in the center horizontally. You can also create text that wraps around a curve. There are two ways to do this. Either select the curve that you want to wrap around and create text. This will automatically wrap the text around that curve and then you can just create the text. Or you can select to select a curve from the on a curve drop down menu. To move the text on the curve, select the blue dot and move it. This can also be snapped to points. So here, because I'm using a circle, I can snap it to any of the quadrants. This blue dot can be changed by selecting left, right or center justification. Here, I want the text on the other side so it's not upside down. And I can also specify where I would like the text to be placed in relation to the curve. All of the text can be edited afterwards if necessary by right clicking on it and selecting edit text block. 
to create lines or curves, select the Create Polyline tool from the Design toolbar. Left click anywhere to specify a start point for the line and then left click again to create a point. This can be snapped so it is at 90 degrees, but you can also quickly toggle a 15 degree angle snap by holding control down on the keyboard. To finish, either right click or select create and then cancel. The default setting will create straight angular lines. This can be changed by selecting to draw smooth polylines. The shortcut for this is S on the keyboard whilst creating a line. To draw a line that joins onto another line, select Add to Existing Line. This will allow you to carry on drawing that line provided that you snap onto it. Finally, to delete, make sure that it is selected and simply press Delete on the keyboard.